Uh, so in your uh, marvelous review called Solve for X, uh, in the Claremont Review, one of the uh, major themes brings, uh, uh, works through a comparison of Frederick Douglass and Malcolm X. I thought I would uh, introduce this uh, famous quotation from Malcolm X about being an American, mm -hmm. where he says, no, I'm not an American. I'm one of the 22 million black people who are the victims of Americanism. One of the 22 million black people who are the victims of democracy, nothing but disguised hypocrisy. Now, um, you hold, as you say, hold out hope that uh, Malcolm X would turn out to be more like Frederick Douglass than it may seem from this quotation. First of all, what you about You want to know this? how I can get there yes, from, how can, that, from that quote? When you can, I mean, Douglas, talk about Douglas in America. We talked a little bit about this, yeah. but I think we could expand on it. Douglas was four square uh, in favor, I mean, eventually, and even in, in his early years, you could say, he was um, uh, in, in favor of the idea of America and of the black, blacks as, as possible members of an American polity. And he was either, even yeah. very much in, uh, in eventually in defense of Western civilization, Western literature, and a, a kind of um, uh, liberating um, intellectualism and uh, political freedom that he looked forward to. And all that mm -hmm. seems foreign, doesn't it, to, to Malcolm X? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to make this link between them too strong. Uh, Nonetheless, it does seem to me that the early Douglas, particularly the Garrisonian Douglas, I mean, you look at those speeches, uh, just devastating attacks on the Constitution, mm -hmm. right? A complete rejection of it. Uh, and that's not, not so far from the way in which, in which Malcolm X is talking about America. Um, but he stays in America. Yes, and in fact, he even go abroad. right, even in that early period, he is not a black nationalist. And there were early black nationalists, or the, those who argued yeah. for colonization, uh, blacks who said, you know, maybe the maybe the principles of the Declaration are right, but we are never going to be able to realize them for ourselves, remaining mm -hmm. in America, and we must we must leave. What now? What do you mean by colonization? Uh, yeah, in. It, there were a number of people who were in favor of colonization. There was the American Colonization Society, which was a, a white organization. Famous. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, in favor of um, returning freed blacks to Africa. To Africa. But there was also something called the African Colonization Society, which was founded by leading African American thinkers, also in favor of black, a black exodus. And do we have any idea how popular that was among uh, I think freed it's, blacks? it's always been a minority position, but it's a position that recurs periodically mm -hmm. in African American political Marcus thought. Marcus Garvey and yeah, many, right, yeah. right. Uh, and you, but you know, Douglas really from the beginning really sets himself uh, against that. He right. says, "We're here in America, and we're here to stay, and the nation is going to have to figure out you know, so, what, to, what to do with us." Yes. So yes, in that respect. Big difference between them in other respects also. Douglas's vision is, in, is thoroughly integrationist, probably the most integrationist of all of the mm -hmm. leading black figures. Uh, he actually looked forward to a time in which there would be a composite American national identity. In mm -hmm. other words, uh, I I intermarriage would eventually produce a kind of new type. A new, Barack Obama. A new racial type, that's yes. right, yeah. Uh, by the way, John Quincy Adams also sees this in the, in the American future. So again, in that way, very different from Malcolm X, who is, you know, a, a, separationist a, a separatist. And, yeah. yeah. Nonetheless, it seems to me there are certain points of similarity, and especially maybe on the theme of manliness. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, that. And uh, just this need for black pride, for standing up for yourself. There are some things that are not to be tolerated. And I actually here see that, that Malcolm X has some appreciation for the American founding and for this revolutionary tradition. Mm -hmm. So he's wrong in saying that the founding was white nationalism. Right? Uh, but I think he does have a basic understanding of this sort of Lockean position. And that leads him on a, on a key issue, namely mm -hmm. the issue of civil disobedience, 
to be very critical of, of civil disobedience and of King's attempt to find a halfway position between sort of the, 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 revolution. the, the between revolution and the, and the thoroughly democratic ways of trying to change bad laws. Right. Now, but you have to admit uh, Malcolm X kept odd company, or uh, p politically, uh, or that um, you know uh, he had strange bedfellows, considering that when he was part of the Nation of Islam, he was um, negotiating with the American Nazi Party yes. and with um, uh, uh, segregationists of the most diehard sort. Because they shared a common uh, notion that the races, races should, should separate. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he does some things that he is later uh, very, uh, you know, he, he, he laments that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that, that he, uh, he was driven to do that. That was really Elijah Muhammad, head of the Nation of Islam, uh, who wanted that uh, outreach to uh, American racists. But, you know, I mean, I think you could say in a... In, in a certain that's, way, that's true of Douglas also, right? Really? You know, he's no, in, well, I, I would have no, said no, that. not that, but that he yeah. is, well, yes, actually, that, that he is involved with, uh, he got involved with the wrong group at the beginning, mm -hmm. right, <laughs> with, with the Garrisonians. And there was a way in which the Garrisonians were in league with the slavocrats. Uh, I, I think, I, maybe I mentioned this in the review, I don't remember whether I do or, or not. You allude the, to it. The, the yeah. Garrisonians, spoke about circulating a, uh, or, or I'm sorry, the, the Southerners spoke of, the Slavocrats spoke about circulating a work that had been produced by the Garrisonians, precisely because the Garrisonians were arguing for a pro-slavery view of the Constitution, and so were the Slavocrats. Right.